It's another beautiful Sunday again, and I'm very glad to be here, and I'm sure you are so much glad as well. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. It is the day you have made. We thank you for the privilege to be here, to learn at your feet. We thank you for your word that you bring to us today. And we ask, Lord, let this word, let this prune us. Let it wash us, let it cleanse us, let it groom us in the name of Jesus. We pray for your servant that you would use. We ask for grace for him today that we speak from your heart, O oh God. It will speak your word to us. It will speak into our life, speak into our season in the name of Jesus. You will grace him with everything that will be required for him to deliver your word to us today in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, Lord, we will not remain the same again. We ask, Lord, for everything we're going to hear. We ask for grace to carry them out in the name of Jesus. We say, let it be a token, even as we journey with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for hearing us. We thank you for listening. We thank you, Lord, for all you're going to do in our lives today. We receive your word in the name of Jesus today. Let it illuminate us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it brighten our walk in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord, for in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Oh, every tongue, I am part of those tongues. My tongue shall declare your glory. My knee shall bow at the throne, O oh God, in worship. You will be exalted, O oh God, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Oh, ancient of days. As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we receive from you can set them free. As we worship you, let all this joy that fills our hearts Bring a hunger and a hope to those who stray so far. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverent awe, majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves, may the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray. Precious Jesus, as we worship you, as we worship you, Lord, as we worship you, Let all the nations hear our song as we worship. As we worship you, oh Jesus. Let all the nations hear our song. Song of Jesus and his love that proved his love for all. As we worship, as we worship you.
why don't you take a minute and intercede for this land? angels all around my delight is found in knowing that you wear the victor's crown you're my help and my defender you're my savior and my friend by your grace and leave the free to worship you the mention of your greatness in your name I will bow down in your feet presence fear is silent for you wear the victor's crown let your glory fill this temple let your power overflow by your grace and live and breathe to worship
every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every I think must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. Welcome, God's people. Welcome, child of God. You're welcome to this online session to hear the word of God. We thank God for the atmosphere of the Spirit already set by the worship that went ahead. And um, we trust that um, we'll be blessed by the ministration of God's word. Let's say a word of prayer together. Father, Lord, we bless you. Thank you for an opportunity to hear your word. Um, we pray, Lord, that insights will spring out of your word, revelation will spring out of your word, wisdom and grace will spring out of your word. We pray, Lord, that we will be delivered from any limitation, whatsoever it may be, that the word will activate faith in our hearts, bring deliverance, bring healing, bring empowerment. The word will work wonders for us. The world will cleanse, cleanse where it needs to cleanse, to strengthen where it needs to strengthen, and it will empower us to do your divine will in all ramifications of our life here on earth. May the blessed, may the era and the speaker be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So today we'll be considering the topic titled Activating the Supernatural, Activating the Supernatural. Um, I think when you, you natural just means <laughs> we, all, we all exist naturally, my flesh is natural. Um, every other, everything I'm touching here, um, everything physical, anything that can be felt, anything that the senses can relate with are natural. Um, but when we talk of supernatural, we're talking about the realm. When it says super, well, I simply say it has gone beyond what the natural senses can perceive. Um, you're no longer dealing with the five senses of touch, of smell, of, of sight, of, um, of um, hearing. But we're not moved into the spiritual, into, the, into a realm that is super to the natural. Um, it's a common word in Christianity and it was it's a reality because of the Holy Spirit. It's a reality because of the covenant that we have in Christ Jesus. The supernatural is a reality for the believer. Supernatural is a reality for the believer is um, from the day we became born again, um, <laughs> the reality of our human spirit we were created, we began to live supernaturally. <laughs> we began to live supernaturally, which is opposite for those who do not know the Lord. Um, they have conscience, but their conscience is dead. They have spirit, but their spirit is dead. But well, you, as spirit, have been made alive in Christ Jesus, for you have been raised to sit with Christ in the heavenly places. That's what Philippians says. We have been lifted to sit with Christ in the heavenly places. Therefore, set your eyes on things above. That is what, what supernatural means. Um, it is the life of the Spirit. Supernatural, the life of the Spirit. Um, that's, that, however, we, we, there, there is, we're using the word alongside activating because there is, even though the supernatural <laughs> is a reality for us as believers, Yet, in many, many at times, many occasions, and for, for donkey space of time, it could be inactive. It could be inactive. Something can be, could be a reality with you, but it could be inactive. Uh, it means you don't engage it. It means you, don't, you know it's there, but you don't engage it. You don't even remember. It's once in a while, maybe when you meet in, when we meet in church gathering, when there's a corporate release of the Spirit of God in church. You know, that is when, that is when we say, okay, we had a supernatural time together uh, but, but but no 
Supernatural is who you are. Supernatural is what we should every day stir up. Um, John 3, C says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is of the spirit. You have now been born of the spirit. I believe I'm speaking to believers, but if there are unbelievers, there's, if, you have not, if you don't understand what it means to be born of the spirit, I, I trust God to pray with you at the end of this meet, at the end of, of, um, of this message, so that you can, you can welcome into this reality that we, uh, uh, the rest of us, are experiencing. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, family. It's a beautiful experience and reality. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. There's no gain saying about that. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. That's why I said the man, that's why I just said again in John 3 16, speaking to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So we are born of the spirit, and that's where we live. Uh, that's where we live. But we read again in Galatians 5, verse 25, it said, If ye live in the spirit, ye also ought to walk in the spirit. That is what it means to activate. If you live in the spirit, live in the spirit would, would describe that you have been born again. That is your year. That is where you are. You are life in God. Your human spirit has been recreated. The Holy Spirit indwells your human spirit. You know. And you, so you live in the spirit. You see, but it doesn't end there. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. To walk is progression. To walk is to make movement. To walk is to cover grounds. To walk is to, is to fill up. Is to, is to occupy. Is to... You should just, just make movements. Don't just stay there. That was described as activating the supernatural. If you live in the spirit, you also ought to walk in the spirit. Why do you walk in the spirit? So that you will not fulfill. That scripture continues by saying, so that you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Romans, that's Galatians 5.25. and If you live in the spirit, you also walk in the spirit. So if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Our, uh, 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 our responsibility is to supernatural living, which implies maintaining, which of course implies maintaining fervency in the spirit. That is, our, that is what our commitment is to. That is what, the, that is what the, the believer's commitment is to. The believer's commitment is to be fervent, is to supernatural living. And supernatural living it implies uh, or commands what fervency. It commands, it commands, it commands being active and alive in the Lord. Be active and alive in God. Hallelujah, because the the first man is of the is, is of the earth is earthy, but the second man is the is the Lord from heaven. The second man, the renewed man which is built after the image of Christ, is from heaven. He is, has been raised to sit with Christ in the heavenly places. In the heavenly places. In that vein, we have been welcomed into supernatural living, which we must every day what, stir up. We must walk out our faith in with fear and trembling. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Let him that thing is done take it less before. All of all that is an activation of the supernatural that is our, our that is our domain, that is our reality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we would we would go on, we would we would die. We will die like mere men. We will go on like mere men. If, if, that, if, that, if that reality is not entrenched in our, it's not, that, it's not, it's not a, it's not an active, there's no active participation to activate that, that, that the Lord has designed us to be. Uh, sometimes we, there is spectacular and there is supernatural. Spectacular will reply, um, uh, would imply angelic visitations. And that happens to believers, yes. You can be a child of God and you're waiting for angelic visitation, which is, which is fine. Out of body experiences and visions and dreams. 
which is amazing. However, that is not on, those, those things I just described are not under our control. If God brings an angelic, an angel appears to you and that angel is able to communicate what the next 10, of, 10 years of your life should, would be, that is, that is beautiful. If you've got a special dream or an amazing vision, an out-of-body experience, that is lovely. But we don't live, we don't live for that. We don't live for that. Any, any prophet, any man of God, any whatsoever that makes it look as if we can by the, by the flip of, uh, uh, by just, um, what was it called? The, the, the flick of the fingers that we can, we, we, you, you, can, you can, can call an angel, you can, you can, no, 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 no. That's not what the Bible says. Mm. All of all that are spectacular experiences and they will happen at God's sovereign will. God, Jesus spectacularly appeared to Paul on his way to Damascus. Paul had spectacular move experiences along his journey of life, his spiritual journey. At some point, he said he saw heaven. He, saw, he described a man who, he, um, who, who, visited, who visited the heaven, the third heaven. He described how Jesus appeared to him. But that didn't happen all throughout Paul's life. There was Peter also had a vision in the Acts when it was, to, when it was time for God to relieve for, 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 for God to open up the dimension of the, of, the, of the Gentiles being welcomed into the new covenant in Christ Jesus. God needed to break that in, in Peter's life and for, for the Jews to break that confinement of, of, the, of, of the Jewish tradition so that they will understand that believers and uh, 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 God, God's interest, God's redemptive plan did end with the Jews was going to extend to the, to the Gentiles. God had to show him when he was to go to the to the to the to the house of um, what was the house of this of this man again, and the 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 um, Peter had a vision of of of, uh, of animals that descended from heaven and was told to go and eat and all of all those things, things that the Jews despises. But well, that was God speaking to. Him. So that is those are spectacular, but it doesn't happen. What we are designed to live on daily, we are not designed to live on spectacular daily. We are designed to live on the supernatural daily. The, super, the spectacular can come. God can, we can have burning bush. Burning bush, spectacular moment. That, spectacular can, 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 can invite us to the supernatural. I agree, that is possible. Yes, if you see vision, it should invite you to the supernatural. If you see a dream, it should invite you to the supernatural. If you see an angel, it should be telling you something that will invite you to the supernatural. That will invite you to that, to the supernatural. That will activate the supernatural in you. Agreed. But it doesn't happen all the time. What is, what, is, what, is, what is available to us by faith is the supernatural. Living every day in the supernatural. The supernatural will refer to walking in the spirits. It will refer to discernment. It will refer to denying, denying self. It will refer to overcoming sin. It will refer to rising above our fears. It will refer to, to, to rising above our doubt, our intimidation. It will, rise, it will, it will, it will revolve to expecting and calling forth the miraculous, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, walking in love, speaking forth life, praying the Spirit. All of all these are the things that describes the supernatural. And that is what we are designed to activate in on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, um, Romans 12, from verse 11, says, Be not slothful in business, but fervent in spirits, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Hallelujah. That is, that is, the, that is, the, that is the supernatural. Hallelujah. Be not slothful in business is activate. We are not slothful in business. The, 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 the business we're talking about here is the business of the spirit. <laughs> the business of the spirit. See, 
the, 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 Paul, Paul was admonishing him. He said, be not stuffing in this business. We have been called into a serious business. We have been called into, a, into, a, into the most important business in the whole of creation. We have been called to live supernaturally. Because if we live by the, if we live by the, by, 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 by the flesh, you know, we will die. We will die meaning that we would, we, we, we would die meaning that we would, we would depreciate in life. Depreciate, depreciate so much so that the, you know, there, will not, there will not even be a tangibility of life within us. And of course, call, what comes to mind is the story of the virgins. There were five virgins, there were ten virgins, five were wise, five were not wise. The five that were wise simply describes those that were active in the supernatural. They were, active by the, they were actively living out the will of God, such that when the Lord appeared, when the bridegroom appeared, which is the position of when the Lord appears, they were ready, they were available. Those that were not activating the supernatural, those that were not living that conscious reality of the supernatural, you know, they had lamps, meaning they, were, they, were, they had lamps, which represent that we created human spirits, but they had no oil to sustain them. They had no sustaining, they had no oil to sustain them. Oil represents all of the activities of the ad- activating our supernatural life that makes us available, that makes us ready, that makes us do the works of the Lord. And I, and I, I have given you a description of them. I said, you know, to refer to walking the spirits, discerning, being discerning, denying self, overcoming sin, rising above fear, doubt, intimidation, ex- being discerning, we live in a time now where we have to be so discerning against morality. We have to be so discerning against fear. There are so much forces that are there to suppress you as a believer. There are forces that are there to even make you lose your form of identity. You would even, you, 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 you feel so, like, like, I, I, like I was saying not so long ago, that you know, there, is, there is a proliferation of immorality in the air that will make you so defied that if you're not careful, if you follow that, if you follow that, 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 because the way it works is that it's all over the internet, it's all over Twitter, it's all over Facebook, it's all over, you know, the, 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 social, the social platforms. It will, you, if you click on it, it will take you to one link, from one link, it will link you to Instagram groups, from Instagram or Instagram, Telegram groups. And before you know what's happening to you as a believer, you're already defied. And I've been, and I've been ringing the one in recent times, and I think it's the plot of it's the plot of the enemy to bring many into the web of, of corruption, of defilement, you know, of immorality. Because all of what will happen is that you will lose your sense of identity, and you begin to continue to indulge and indulge and indulge and indulge until your fire is completely extinguished. And that is not that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. But if we live. If we live actively, acti- activating, activating the supernatural awareness and potency that, you know, that potentially lies within us, there the Bible says we will not fulfill the God. There are desires of the flesh. The desires of the flesh, you know, they are, they are dead, but they can be awakened. <laughs> they are dead, but they can be awakened. They can be awakened, but the more we indulge, the more we, the more we activate the, the flesh. The more we indulge, the more we say, just a little sight, just a little indulging, just a little looking into, let me just see how it happened, let me just see what happened, what led to what, what led to what. That, that, seemingly, that seemingly innocent inquisition, inquiry or research, whatever you call it, will end you in a place that you know won't go. That, uh, the way we say, say, it go carry you go where you know won't go. It go carry you go where you know won't go. And, and, and even though I didn't plan to say it, but I'm just re- emphasizing again that this is the this is the reality of the times that we're living. And God is warning believers, you have the greater one living within you. The design of God is for you to activate the supernatural so you can overcome sin. Now, people, underst- people understand the supernatural to, to, to only mean speaking in tongues. No. Thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit that enables us to speak in other languages. And that is one way, that is the, actually the initial and foundational way of activating the supernatural. We have to speak in other languages. We have to speak in tongues. We have to speak in the supernatural language, activate and awakens us in the supernatural. And, and I'm, not, I'm not denying that. But we must understand that supernatural, the supernatural doesn't just end there. It doesn't just end in speaking in tongues. The supernatural is designed to empower us to be sensitive 
through the ways of the Spirit. To empower us to be sensitive to our new birth, to our new birth reality. To empower us to wage war. To wage war against the, against, against the, against the forces of hell. The forces of the day. The forces of the age, of the spirit of the age. That is what, if you are praying, so if you are praying in the spirit, you are praying to empower yourself, say, Lord, I'm being empowered to overcome. I'm being empowered to stand in these times. These are serious, difficult times of hell and release of darkness over the face of the earth. I'm praying the spirit that I can be, I'm being empowered to rise above, to rise above this plague that has been declared on the, on the creation. The covering cast that has been declared over the nations of the earth. That is what activating, that is what, that is the design of God for us so that we can overcome. Anyone that is not living supernatural, I know I love, the, there's, there's a set of people I remember, you know, I don't want to mention their name, but I remember they were always praying in the Holy Ghost. They were always praying the Spirit. And these days, I believe that's their, that's their, their set. They, they really expounded the understanding of our new creation realities. Uh, you know, that, 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 that denomination, the body of Christ. And it, it was lovely. You know, and I think it's a lovely practice. Because that active, we need to meet in that active state. That boiling, the way you describe it, in, uh, like that, the way I read in Romans, said, is boiling state. Be not thoughtful in business, but fervent. That fervency is described right, by the word you use in the group. It's boiling in a state of a boiling state. You know when water is boiling? Pop, 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 that is how we are meant to be. Each time you feel a weight of carnality, a faith of the flesh, come on, my brother, begin to blast in the spirit. Come on, begin to activate yourself in the spirit. That is the weapon. That is the weapon that we have against, against this world. That is the weapon that we have, you know, to activate ourselves in a supernatural life so that we can live and overcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll continue. We'll continue. We'll continue. We'll continue the part two of this. But I, I was just want to trust God with you who haven't been, who haven't been, who haven't been welcome to this family of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that um, um, the Lord will have mercy upon you. Uh, uh, you, you, you the, the, Lord, the Lord will forgive your sins and the blood of Jesus Christ will purify you, you know, uh, and make you whole. You are welcome. You are made whole whole spirit, soul, and body by the blood of Jesus. Welcome into the family of Christ. As soon as you make confession of your sins, the Lord welcome you into this family so where you are able to live supernaturally. You are no longer dead. You are no longer dead in your supernatural sins. You are translated unto the kingdom of the dear son, of, of, of his dear son, who, who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome. Welcome to this family of God. You are being made new by the blood of Jesus Christ. Your sins have, have, been, have, been, have been blotted away. Your, 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 your name is written in the book of life. Thank you, Father, for you have done this for my brothers and sisters. Wherever they are, wherever this message is reaching them, and they are made whole. As they make confession of their sins, Lord, you will forgive them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. Thank God for the word this morning. It's my prayer that we will not just be hearers, but we'll be doers of the word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. So now it's time to give our offering and our tithe. As usual, do my drum rolls. So yes, if you're giving an offering or a tithe this morning, please find the details on the screen. Um, the account details while we you know, bow our heads and our heart in prayer. Lord, we thank you. We would always begin with thanks. The Bible says the Lord loves a cheerful giver, and a cheerful giver is someone who truly gives from their heart. Because you, you desire that you know the giving comes from inside of us. And Lord, with all of our cheerful heart this morning, we give to you and we say thank you. Thank you for providing bread to the eater. Thank you for giving seed to the sower. Thank you for the opportunity to to love on you through you know our seeds, through you know our offerings and our tithes. Thank you for your hand we've seen your hand in the year the bible speaks of isaac in the year of famine and he sowed in that land lord is we, we, we acknowledge that everything that we have it's not it's not because we're we're anything but lord is all your provision is 100 percent the hand of the almighty we bless you father because we know that indeed our offering and our thanks are accepted and you know the a beautiful act of worship to you this morning lord in jesus name as we give amen Amen. Yes. So on to the announcements for the week. Um, every Sunday, 
first of all we've got church on air by 7 30 which you already know because you're here and then we've got our physical service which is the present truth service 10 30 a.m at the church auditorium 7b the rock drive of Pisela Durusimi Eti Lake Face One. We surely would love for you to worship with us physically. We'd love to give you a hug and would love to have you join with us. Um, every Wednesdays we fast as a as a church, you know, we fast through the day and uh, we have prayer points released on the church platforms um, you can guide us through the day. So if you're not following us on social media yet, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, if you're not subscribed to this channel, if you're not on a church WhatsApp platform, you are wrong. So do us right and um, you know follow us, you know, subscribe and um, join our platform so you can get all the information, all the prayer points on Wednesdays and the guide for the week. Um, also, in every Thursday, we gather by 6 p.m. for Epignosis, which is a study of God's Word um, at the Church Auditorium, 7B, The Rock Drive, or Bisola Durasini Eti, Lekki Face. We would we'll love to have you this Thursday. Um, thank you for joining with us. Anyways, today we, we're happy to have you join with us, and we hope to see you again same time next week. Yeah, love you. TGC loves you. <laughs> Bye.